Good morning, everyone. John Panic with Mojave Valley Daily News, and this is your daily dose for Thursday, October 29th. The Daily Dose is brought to you by Tri-State Radiology Center. Tri-State Radiology Center offers an open MRI, digital x-rays, professional and friendly staff with years of medical experience and commitment to quality for all patients. Tri-State Tri Radiology Center offers some of the lowest self-pay options in the area and they accept most insurances. At Tri-State Radiology Center, your image means the world to us. All right, let's get into it. We have a very uh, special paper today. I don't know if you heard, but President Trump was in the area yesterday for his rally. And that's what page one basically is. We have a nice big picture of uh, President Trump and some of his supporters behind him at the rally yesterday, um, along with the story about, about his speech, um, mostly covering what it is that he uh, wanted to emphasize, mostly differences between himself and and uh, Vice President, former Vice President Joe Biden, um, things that he planned on doing, things that he's already done. Uh, he compared himself to several um, notable uh, historical figures, including Abraham Lincoln at one point, uh, President Reagan, and uh, Wyatt Earp, interestingly enough. So, uh, nice big story on that, on his visit and his speech. Um, on page two here, we continue with that story. We also, during the middle of the speech, there was a uh, uh, F-16 jet flew over and there was some um, pomp and circumstances to that. It, it, uh, the crowd reacted a lot to it, so did the president, but it turns out that a, um, aircraft had wandered into the restricted, temporarily restricted airspace. And uh, so the jet first tried to make contact with him, uh, the F-16. He didn't, uh, they didn't, they were unable to contact the pilot. So they fired off a flare. You see that there's a picture of the, of the result of the flare there. You can also down in the bottom, you can see the uh, private aircraft that that had strayed into the area there Apparently that was enough to wake up the pilot. He understood what was going on and they escorted him out of the area So that was kind of interesting um, We got two stories here on uh, Kind of peripheral stuff uh, This was kind of a wrap-up of how well the visit went as far as issues and traffic and, and uh, some medical numbers in here as well and then uh kind of the lead up to the event how it went with the the different parking areas and and that there's a lot of quotes in here from locals and people that had traveled here from other areas to to catch the president um on our na nation nation and world page here there's a little bit uh information about um it's not the most pleasant stuff um, Disney laid off 720 performers because of the pandemic. The economic growth is fading. I know yesterday we had a 900 point drop in the stock market. So not pleasant stuff. There's a variety of reasons. People think that, um, you know, the uncertainty over the election is one of them, but also the, uh, the tick up in coronavirus cases around the world here in the U.S., but more specifically around the world, climbing. I know that India is having some more issues as well. Thursday is the day that we announce our Student Athlete of the Week. Here it is. Josh Neal. He's a male golfer. He is also uh, plays on the football team there. Scored a couple touchdowns last week. And he is a 4.0 straight-A student. So congratulations to Josh. That's our Finley Student Athlete of the Week. In our B section today is a pullout section that the whole section is basically uh, Trump's visit. Um, we have a pile of pictures in here. We have quotes in here. It's supposed to be a collector's uh, edition. 
Um, so you can keep this and hold on to it. We, it's on a little bit higher quality paper as well. Costs a little bit more money. You see there's a nice shot of Air Force One coming in. Um, along with President Trump and his Make America Great hat. And a little rundown of, uh, of the history of it and how this happened. Um, but as you go through it, <clears throat> you see there's pictures and quotes all throughout uh, the, the section. Uh, pictures of the crowds and there's a nice picture of, uh, of President Trump coming up. You see Dana White from the UFC is there. His uh, uh, McElhaney is there. You got these YouTube guys that follow him around. They're there. Um, so it was, a, it was a historic day for sure. A little chilly this morning when we came in. Um, we got cold mornings and, and nice afternoons. So it's supposed to be up in the uh, 80s again today. Uh, keep climbing until I guess Sunday. By Sunday, it's supposed to be in the high 80s. And, um, and that'll be nice. Daily Dose, again, brought to you by Tri-State Radiology Center, where they offer same or next day appointments, and they accept most insurances, including Medi-Cal. They have a wide open MRI and offer digital x-rays with your reports ready in 24 hours. And you know, if you ever tried to get your uh, x-ray reports quickly, you know that 24 hours is a big deal. Call them today for an appointment at 928-460-7226. And as a reminder, the Daily Dose Valley Voices are now available to stream on the Anchor app, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and more. So those links will be in the description below. All of the videos that we did yesterday out at the Trump rally are available on our YouTube page. So we interviewed Kelly Ward, who brought this whole thing to Bullhead City, Sonny Borelli, Toby Cotter. There's just a pile of interviews on there. They're all short. And, uh, and then also the, the president's speech in its entirety. So go and check that out. Today also, we have a video interview with our Student Athlete of the Week. That's done by Shane Pollack from Finley. He interviews uh, uh, Josh Neal and his coach and talk a little, little bit about uh, his accomplishments. So it's a chance for you to get to know who this young man is. Um, I encourage you to go visit that as well. It's Thursday, we're almost to Friday. Hope everyone has a great day, and I will see you here tomorrow morning.